Hello everyone, this is Mihai with Programmatic Modeling Connection and today we're going to do some visual programming in three dimensions. We are going to plot a function. Drag a module for the cosine function onto the programming canvas. To control the amplitude of the plotted function using a lever control. We'll use a for loop to generate inputs for the cosine function. The for loop will start at 0 and end at 10 uh, with a step size of 0 0.2 which will ensure that we get a smooth plot. By right clicking on an input, we can uh, generate numeric values automatically. The for loop has generated a list of values which can be seen by right clicking on the node then picking node information and then looking in the right side of the window it appears. We connect the input of the cosine function to the output of the for list but it appears that we are getting an error. This is because the cosine node is set to process single numeric inputs and we are feeding it a list. In order to fix this we switch the cosine node to list processing by right clicking and picking that option from the menu. Now we can connect the output of the cosine node to the input of the plot node and we should see the plot appear. Because of the default limits set on the plot node, uh, our plot is cut at the bottom. We will set those uh, y max and y min limits to 1 and minus 1 respectively to be able to accommodate the full uh, extent of the cosine function. Now uh, the entire amplitude of the cosine function appears which is uh, between minus 1 and 1. We want to control the amplitude further by using the lever. Therefore, we will multiply the output of the lever with the output of the cosine and pipe that into the plot function. The multiplication node would also have to be set in the list mode in order to be able to process the cosine list and the lever. However, the lever input it's only one input, so we will set it to um, automatic list mode by right-clicking on that input in the, of the multiplication node. The plot node and the lever node are actually coded directly into the bar chart 3D uh, sample, which is included with a Poppy library and can be customized further. You can try the Poppy package for free and also download other completely free visual programming applications at visualprogrammingLanguage.com. Thank you for watching this video.